Oh, and are you saying the uh, B the uh, BRB screen looks pretty cool? If that's the case, thank you. Um, made it myself, actually. See, I was thinking to myself when I created the thing, is like, what to me is like one of the biggest symbols of gaming, and me being basically raised on the Super Nintendo. Um, I really love the Super Nintendo controller. To me, that is like the icon of video gaming, so. I, I just really felt like making a little graphic with that, and I think it turned out pretty nice. Anyway, let's see. Oh, hold on now. I'll have to switch over the scene to that. And let's see if this is going to play. Where is that? You know, sad when you scroll through your Steam library and, um... You see a bunch of stuff you don't even remember getting. I, I'm notorious for picking up games when they're really cheap on sales, like during sales. I'm looking at these games, I'm thinking to myself, is, yeah, that looks like something I'd play eventually. And then I completely forget about it. As a matter of fact, this game was one of them. <laughs> I think I picked this game up for two bucks during a Halloween sale about two years ago. <laughs> If not longer. So, this is Nosferatu, Wrath of Malachi. It was made by a studio, which I think sadly doesn't exist anymore. Came out in 2005, I believe it was released on Steam in 2014. That's about all the backstory I have on it. Now, if I remember correctly from what I know about the controls. It's sad to say, a lot of purists would hate me for this, but I'm more used to playing shooters and things with a controller, so I'm probably going to suck terribly at this. There's no controller option. Uh, I suppose there's nothing for it, but hop right in and see how well I do. My pride dictates I can't play this on medium. Well, one of the things I've also learned about this game from what I've read about it is that it's apparently pretty hard anyway. So... Yeah, screw it. I'll start a game on medium, see how it goes. I may ha end up having to chicken out and lower it afterwards. Oh, the game is also randomized too, which is interesting. That's kind of hurt on the eyes. <laughs> also kind of creepy. On a misty October night in the Transylvanian mountains, you arrive to join your family and some of their closest friends at Castle Malachi, where your sister Rebecca is to be wed to the son of the wealthy Romanian Count. Arriving a day later than your family, you're thrilled about the reunion and the festivities that will follow. However, as the coach taking you from the train station hurries through the fog towards the dark and ominous looking castle, you get a horrible feeling that everything is not what it is supposed to be. See, if I were to have to go to this bizarre castle As the coach on top of the drops road, you off at the castle gates, you're left alone feel, nope. in the dark. No way. Your torch barely illuminating the large, blackened gates in front of you. An icy wind sends a horrifying chill through your bones as you manage to push the massive gates open. Walking through the vault towards the empty castle plaza, you prepare yourself for the worst. God help us all. 
see the doors are covered in crosses. That's either a good or terrible sign. Um, give, give, give me a moment, I need to check something on uh, OBS. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. I should have figured the game was going to have those black bars on the side on account of, you know, this is a game that was made. God, if this came out in 2005, that was over a decade ago. Ooh, okay. I found my cane sword! Can, can I go punch some vampires to death? Or I can slice them. Ooh, look at that, look at that sword swing animation. Now let's, let's be a badass about this, let's just punch everything. Okay, I need to check a few things in the options. Okay, so there are no options other than the options for the controls. Like, I don't get any graphics options or anything. Hold on now. Um, F2 inverts mouse, F3 and 4 changes mouse sensitivity, F5 is quick save, F6 is quick load. Okay then. I'll just carry on as if I was normal. I was really intense about jumping. So I guess we should just fight. Hi. I'm more worried about the dog. Ah, James! The uh, pain! Other of you. I can't take it much longer. Please, bring Dr. Amersfield. Even fools, I say. Fools! The Count is a vampire. Take my crucifix. The vampires will back away from it. I'm wounded badly. Perhaps I have half an hour left to live. That's very specific. Find Dr. Amersfield and bring him here, or I don't think I'll make it. You can use the main entrance from where you came as sanctuary. The spawns of hell do not venture there. Dr. Amersfield, Aunt Emily, Uncle Andrew, and Gregory are hiding in the East Wing. You must find and rescue them to rescue them to the sanctuary. I bless some pathways in the East Wing with a green light to mark your way. You'll you'll be fine. Wow, that was pretty excessive. Okay, so you were in the East Wing. I guess I can't go in through that door anyway. How terribly am I going to- Jeez! Go away! Go away! Die! Die! <laughs> well, aren't you an ugly bastard? If only I had a revolver. Small health pack. He looks so happy! <laughs> ah! <laughs> Appearances are deceiving! Appearances are deceiving! <laughs> A 
Okay, those are the people I need to find, I guess. Um, okay, I need, I need to check something on the controls again. Uh, reload, drop, um, show photo, inventory, right in the sprint. So do I just automatically use med packs when I pick them up? I guess that must be the case. How you doing? You doing good? I haven't found a doctor for you yet, that's all to say. Yeah, yeah, health packs just automatically get used. Steak. Steaks are good. I assume. Nope. <laughs> 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 okay, steaks are insta kills. Nice to know. Uh, maybe I should uh, start with the crucifix. At least that way I'll be able to get some, uh... Get some breathing room. What the hell? Wait, did I do that to myself? That's the case, I can't fall from a very great height now, can I? Look, I'm glad I'm finding so many bullets and bits of gunpowder and stuff, but... Yo, dude, though! And now I can shoot things. I suppose that every vampire needs to have their mortal servants, assuming that guy even was mortal. Nope, don't want to pick that up yet. That was bizarre and abrupt. How do you reload again? <laughs> uh, pad 1 or R, makes sense. Although something tells me that's not going to work. Okay, I'm just going to leave you alone. We can be friends. There's gotta be something I can do to injure that thing. Although maybe I just need to get past it. I like how it uses a lot of uh, classic horror movie um, 
cheesy, creepy music. I also like how this guy sounds like he's gonna bust a gut every time he jumps. So I mean, he's somewhat out of shape. I like how it has book written on it. By the Reveals Encyclopedia of the Undead, Part 1. Vampires are creatures of the night, and during the day they enter a coma-like sleep. Vampires usually possess some unusual supernatural attributes. Vampires avoid garlic, sunlight, sacred symbols such as the crucifix, and holy water. They may need to sleep on their native soil. Maybe. Not sure. They may be killed by thrusting a stake through their hearts. I'm not so bad at this game for now. We'll see what happens. I get deeper into the castle. It's occurred to me there's no maps. So what is... What, what, what's, what's up there? What's doing that? Ah, jeez! You're not so tough. Back, Satan! Oh, that only works for a little while. It does appear that if you time it right, you can stun lock them. That's good to know. It's a dandy hat. Wish I had one of them. Mr. Vampire. Mr. Vampire? I'm not at all keeping track on where I'm going. Oh crap! I said vampire, not dog! Assuming that spawns enemies, meaning maybe I shouldn't be in here right now. Ah. <laughs> also, the other thing I'm aware of is apparently. I, I don't know how to hurt that thing. Okay, so let's just run away. Anyway, as I was saying, the other thing I'm aware of is that um, there is a time. There is a time clock in the. Jeez! There's a clock in this game that. Um,
when, when I uh, do things is rather important. Stay in there. So, so I'm on a time limit to find the people I'm looking for. Meaning I'm pretty sure the priest can die if I don't find the uh, doctor fast enough. Oh, jeez. I'm gonna die! That's not... That's not reload. And I'm done. Oh, it, um, I need to start over from the beginning. It would appear that this is a game where save scumming is required. I don't need to see this again. <laughs> Oh, I do, I do have Doom 3. I've been meaning to get around to that. I love the uh, newest version of Doom, and I played a lot of the very first game, so... Also, look at the picture of this guy's grandfather. He's holding a machine gun, and he's apparently killed some kind of bizarre creature. Ooh, pardon me. Ah, James. Yes, yes, you can. I can't take it much longer. Please bring Doctor Amersfield. Take a step backwards, and it's like I jump up on something. Oh, I'm not falling for that trick again. You keep, uh, you keep t taking your nap, happy vampire lady. Oh, oh, oh. You sound very. Wait, wait. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll push you to safety. You're gonna be, you're gonna be okay. You'll be okay. I'll, I'll put you, put you over here. All right. Go, go drink that blood. Helps the vampires. You should be good too. Well, to use the stakes if I got them, right? Bring it! That didn't work! <laughs> We're supposed to be dead! Why weren't you dead? You had to be dead. I said the castle was randomly generated, but so far I'm just seeing all the same stuff. Okay, F5 is quick save. I'm going to want to be using that, I think. So, game saved. Perfect.
Empty treasure chest. <laughs> I like how the music plays before you even go in the room. Just dogs. I can deal with dogs. I mean, maybe. Yes, I found the dog's one true weakness, a low ledge. You weren't there before. Too bad I can't pick up the scythe myself, that'd be great. <laughs> I'm now going to save it after every run. Sneaky little bugger. Using the crates to his advantage. I don't think there was- oh wait, no, there's stuff in here. Now if only I could find a gun. Were they both hiding behind the doors? That hardly seems fair. Okay, there were some health packs back here, right? Thank God. Alright. I think I left one back in the forge, too, didn't I? Oh, wait. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Oh wait, no, there's a door down here, isn't there? Yeah, let's, let's use- whoa, 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 okay. Forge was back here, right? Yeah. Oh. It would appear that if you don't use them, you lose them. So in other words, backtracking is pretty much useless. And 
I'm stuck. And I completely forgot Dolly, there's a door over here. Yeah, but that health pack was still there, though. Hmm, curious. Oh, nope, nope. Stay back. Okay, this is different. I found the loo! Any minute now I'm going to be attacked by a poop demon. A heavenly aura surrounds this the boulder that blocks this path. It can only be removed with the aid of God's hand. Well, um... I don't know if he's gonna be helping me out anytime soon. Oh, no, 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 I don't know. I don't know how to deal with you. You can, uh... And you have a gun. And he shot me. He shot me to death. Luckily I saved it shortly before that happened. Okay, so don't bother going in there. Thing wants to kill you. Oh, and that's not a dude with a gun this time. Oh, if Christ compels you. Didn't compel you enough. Honestly, I kind of was hoping it'd still be the dude with the... You're kidding me. I was kind of hoping it still would have been the dude, but the, uh... Well, oh, it's still him. But was he stuck down there? If he's stuck down there, then I might be able to make good out of this. Jeez! <laughs> I know he wasn't there. He was not there to begin with. Run away! Run away! What? I, I, this game is starting to kind of aggravate me a little bit. Okay. There's no point in going up there. No point in going up there because I can't unlock that door. I just found Count Orlock. At least I think I can kill you. And there's some kind of lady over there as well. Don't come up the stairs. Don't come up the stairs. Don't come up the stairs. Okay. Okay.
What's behind the door this time? Well, I can deal with that. Maybe. Ah, you're not dog. This is still the same, anyway. Oh, James. Oh, what took you so long? I found someone. Emily Kingstone. The vampiric succubus has captured Greg and is going to sacrifice him at the top of the raised East Clock Tower. You must rescue him. Have you found Dr. Amersfield, Aunt Sophie, and Uncle Andrew and brought them to safety yet? You must succeed or they'll be slain. Uncle Andrew and I have a revolver in our trunk at the main entrance. Take me there and I'll give it to you. Hurry! I'll follow you anywhere, James. Okay, as long as you don't die on the way out, we'll be okay. If you need to uh, do your business, I suggest you do it right now. There will be no more rest stops. I really hope this is going to be an uneventful trip. I really do. Well, I think we're going to do it. We did it! You're still alive, that's good. Okay, I think this is where I need to. Okay, cool. Oh, safety at last. Oh, um. Come back here and resupply, that's good. Ah, yes. Gone. Well, I seem to be making some progress, at least. Ah, now that I have the weight of a good gun in my hand, there is the inflated self-confidence. Take on everything now, but probably not. Still need to find the damn doctor. I wish there was a way to turn off the view bobbing. I find it very annoying. I just strike the thing in the face with the crucifix? If I did, amazing. Jump on it. It's not a Goomba. Just as ugly as one, but it's not a Goomba. Nice reloading animation. Ah! 
I like how the moment the dog attacked me, my cat started clawing at my leg. That, my friends, is a motion. What's that? Is that anything? Yeah, it's my fists. Okay, so the stakes are eight. Alright. That might be important later. Also, I should learn by now, backing myself into a corner is not a great idea, because things have a tendency to drop from the goddamn ceiling. <laughs> Or, you know, do that. Oh crap, maybe I shouldn't have saved it. I could very well die. <laughs> if I'm not careful. I was just mashing the keys at that point. <laughs> this room looks oddly familiar. It's just a dog. Hopefully they don't know how to open doors. Well, I can attack it through the bars, so that's really neat. So speaking of Doom as we were, I like how uh, Mr. Patterson's portrait there has the same effect as Doom Guy's severely bleeding form. Also, the character's name is James Patterson. Isn't that the name of a novelist? I, uh, I think there's a guy who writes, like, spy thrillers and stuff whose name is James Patterson. Almost certain. That's Poochie. <laughs> that could have gone somewhat better. One. Close to the door. I hate it when they're way too close to the door. Maybe it's just my own lack of skill at this, but this game is a bit more difficult than I was giving it credit for, I think. Why are there two of them? Why did that not... <laughs> also, I just noticed something. You know how, in a lot of games, um, when you reload, 
it, it won't be like you'll reload a full clip or a full round. It'll just give you as many bullets as you need to fill out what you got. This game's not like that. I just had a bullet left in the chamber. I dropped it on the ground. Reload my gun. I'm gonna have to keep that in mind. Um, no, 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 no. No, go away. Go away! No freaky shadow man for me. going to say freaky vampire man I can handle that a bit better but no I cannot no I cannot <laughs> yeah Okay. There's no screw this. Stakes! Stakes! I thought stakes were instant kills. Apparently I was mistaken. I really need to conserve ammunition more. I only have one bullet left. With the thought that I should probably just save it for myself. Ah, dogs! I suppose, if nothing else, I'm giving these people quite the feast. That time I didn't even try, did I? And I can't go back the way I came, because Shadow Man's down there. That door's locked. <laughs> oh. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> I'm scared of you, you bad eared bastard. Or well, maybe I should be. Actually, wait. I have an idea. It's probably not gonna work. Okay, it doesn't stun them for long. What? I was kinda hoping I'd be able to, like, stun him with the crucifix, then hit him, then stun him with the crucifix again. Waste my bullets on this guy again. Yeah? Okay. 
Okay, now save. Kinda wish there was a blocking option when you're using melee. I mean, that would make things a little bit easier. I'm sure you get a bit further, you get more powerful weapons, it makes this simpler, but... Clearly I'm not to that point yet. Okay, hopefully that dog was the only thing that was in there. It was not. I didn't mean to do that. Maybe this is one of those instances where the gun is a better idea. No, that's not fair. I already killed you. You're supposed to be dead. And that guy's just muttering incoherently to himself. spazzing out and mocking me. <laughs> oops. That's a big ol' oops on my part. Oh, you gotta take off so plus? Alright, that's cool. The only thing you're probably going to miss is just me getting killed for the next 10 or 15 minutes before I finally decide to leave, leave this alone. <laughs> Thanks for stopping out though, I really appreciate it. Why are there two of them? Why are there two of them? First it was like four dogs and a vampire, then it was a single dog and a dude with a musket. Then it was just two guys with muskets. Now it's a vampire again. I'm gonna call bullshit on this game's random generating enemies. Bullshit. Tell you what, let's leave that room alone. I mean, I'm just bleeding all over the floor, so it's easy for the vampires to track me, isn't it? I can't jump that distance either. Oh! <laughs> that's... that's not fair. That's... that's just not fair. I was expecting something, but I definitely wasn't expecting that. But I need that key. I know I need that key. Pretty sure the crucifix doesn't work against these things, but I can always, always try. <laughs> I found the key, and then I got ripped apart by spirits. The Shadow Man. Ah! 
Ah, uh, jeez. Go away. Go away, vampire man. Who's laughing at me? Let's try going back this way. Hey, crap. That hardly seemed fair. Screw you too. Ah. Hate those things. I don't know how to kill them. That did nothing. <laughs> did I? No, I didn't. Didn't. Okay, good. I I accidentally hit the quick save button. I didn't know if it saved as I died. Apparently, I did not. So that's pretty cool. Let's, uh, see what's behind this door this time. For save. Nope, just no one of those guys. I don't need to deal with that. And I'm stuck! Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, this game. I know I need the key that's up on top of the tower, but I know as soon as I take it, I'm going to get mauled to death by spirits. I don't think there's a spirit in the hallway this time, though. Something with the legs is down there. That was Dr. Armsfield. I just killed the doctor. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go back and try that again. <laughs> My paranoia has called, caused me to kill a man. You're not the doctor.
crap. Oh, thank God you're here, James. Finally! <laughs> Have you found Aunt Emily, Aunt Sophie, Uncle Andrew, and Gregory and brought them to safety yet? You must succeed or they'll be slain. I've got all my medical equipment in my trunk at the main entrance. Take me there and I'll be able to tend to your wounds. Hurry! Get us you out of here, James! You, my friend, are probably going to be the most useful person to have. Because if you end up becoming my personal medic, that will be amazing. Hopefully I'll remember where the hell I have to go. The music is freaking me out, man. The music is freaking me out. That's why the music was freaking me out. Also, with a name like the Wrath of Malika, I just think I'm dealing with an Amish vampire of some sort. Fuck you, dog. What are you doing back here? You have to follow me. Okay, we've made it this far. Keep running, Doctor. We have a priest to save. Mind your step, don't fall down the tower, I swear to god if I brought you this far. Did, did you just... If you stub your toe and die that way, I swear, I am going to bring you back from the dead and kill you in a, again. I'm stammering, I'm so mad. <laughs> so where are you? Take a quick pit stop to the loo. Stretch now, Doc. Don't fail me now. Hopefully the priest hasn't killed over and died. Nope, he's still moving. May the Lord have mercy on your soul, James. You found Dr. Amersfield in time. He can tend to my wounds. I've sealed the entrance to the vampire's crypt below the east wing, with the aid of God. Locate my heavenly scroll to dispel the magical aura that seals the entrance to the crypt. I've locked up the scroll in a chest that was taken from me by the vampire Vampiric Succubus that captured Gregory. Look at the dumbfounded expression on his face. Both here, come with me. Thanks for rescuing me, James. Now hurry, go and find the others before we run out of time. Come back here if you're wounded, and I'll help you with the wounds. God bless you for bringing me here, James. 
But don't leave your family in the claws of the devil. Hurry up and save them. Um, I'm kind of injured. Here's a little something for that wound. Thank you. Now, if I remember correctly, the holy water is like the it is the most um, powerful weapon in my arsenal. The thing about that, though, is I need to find somewhere to refill it. Maybe I can deal with those shadow men with this, that'd be nice. Disconcerting. <laughs> Fuck yeah, holy water. I've only got so much of that, however, so I shouldn't waste it. unless I miss my guess, I think that's the only thing that can hurt the Shadow Men. Okay, the music is actually kind of getting on my nerves. How do I turn that off? F1. Alright. Okay. Of course, now it's going to be probably really stupid without it. But the the music just... I have one hour left till midnight. I forget, is Gregory going to be sacrificed at midnight? Is that what they said? Oh, you can actually get your health over a hundred. This doesn't last forever. Now I hit that dog. I know I hit that dog. Like that, I hit that dog like that. Music was loud and annoying, but now without the music, it seems too quiet. I just can't win. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> I 
I have no idea where that thing just came from. Crap. 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 <laughs> No, I don't need to see pictures. This is not the time to be taking a gander at some pictures. Let's make an actual save fall. You. Didn't I turn off the music? Pretty sure I turned off the music. I think I'm almost to where I need to get that key. I really hope the holy water works against those things. If not, I am screwed. Back to demons. It kind of works, but now I'm out. <laughs> Didn't I just pick up the garrison key? Maybe it's the wrong garrison key. Something's growling at me. I don't like it. East Tower key is what I have. Meaning, I need to go to the East Tower, which I presume is this way. Ah, well, this is where I found the good doctor. And a chest full of nothing. Okay, Dad. I know I reloaded that gun. I know I did. But you can't fool me, game. This is not the way to the East Tower. I mean, I found some goodies, so it wasn't completely a wasted trip, but... Aha! I swear to god, the next time one of my relatives does this uh, trendy um, getting married outside the country thing, I don't think it's going to be worth the hassle. Well, I'm a sucker for a switch.
Why do I get the feeling that up here is where I'm going to find the succubus? Should, should I be getting off? Okay. <laughs> oh, and Sophie. <laughs> James, look up, I am here. A dark clothed foul beast and his henchmen lowered me down and lo lowered me down to a hole at the top of this tower and left me here to hang. I'm sure it's a trap. Beware, James. Try and find a way to lower me down and rescue me. Okay. for them to hit me, but it's also too far away for me to hit them. <laughs> oh, there she is. Okay. And I got shot. <laughs> the end! Well, I know she's up there, so I have to go up and rescue her. Just have to be careful not to run afoul of the crazies with the guns. That might be easier said than done, to be honest, but we'll see. Ah, still too far away to hit the revolver, too. Even if I get close enough to hit them, they'll probably be able to hit me and kill me in one shot. Correction. <laughs> What was that? What just hit me? That hardly seemed fair. Again, there's a lot about this game that doesn't seem very fair. Uh, come to think of it, it could be that the, uh... The background, turning off the music only shuts down the ambient music, but when it's needed to play in situations <laughs> like this, <laughs> Okay, I know I hit him. I was only able to hit him in a very specific area. Perfect. <laughs> I'm down to one bullet. This game is very strategic in its way. <laughs> and I hit him from back here with the musket. Well, it'll help if I reload. I'm taking that answer as a no. Okay, that hardly seems fair. I know I'm saying that a lot this 
in this game, but <laughs> it's true. It's totally true. Ah, crap. Stopped everyone who's been shooting at me. There's a health pack. Which I'm definitely going to need, seeing as how I just ruptured myself landing on top of that beam. Okay. Loop! <laughs> Her crying is just going to get more and more annoying, especially seeing so it's just a single sound on loop. <laughs> so am I going to have to... Is there, is there no way I can lower her from up here? That oh, doesn't look like it. I'd say the winch is attached to something up here. Meaning... There's a good chance that it's boss time. I haven't fought a boss in this game yet. Ah, uh, what do we have here? Okay, that's ridiculous. Do I just have to stake the guy? Is that what, that's what I need to do? Now, staking him does not seem to work. <laughs> I wish I still had some holy water. What do I have, anyway? I've got my fists, which does not seem like it's appropriate. Hey, what's that? When did I get that? Also, I shouldn't have done that, because now I'm one less bullet. Nuts. Seriously, I can't tell if this is doing anything to me. I know that's doing something to me. Empires. Will the cross do anything to him, I wonder? It does not. He cares not for holy symbols. That. Looks like we have to do this the old fashioned way. It seems like it's the only thing that hurts. Him. Happened to my sword. Seriously, that was my favorite sword.
Okay, I think I know what's happening. I think the bats are attacking me. Okay, let's try taking this guy on one more time. Oh, wait. Oh, that's interesting. need to die. I got one! I got another one! Okay. No, that's not all those bad helpers. I thought it was. Okay, so maybe killing all the bats isn't the thing I need to do. Well, I mean, it probably helps all the same. I'll give this guy one more try. If this doesn't work out, I think I'm gonna have to call it quits for tonight. I almost see three bats, but I need three four, so. Oh, none of them showed up. Man, those things are hard, hard to spot. Apparently bullets have no effect on him, that's annoying. Like, super annoying. Ah, uh, drat. Last and damn. So I could just do this. Is that just supposed to be a lightning strike? Because that's pretty distracting. Acrobatics, pretty boy. Hello, 
little too close for comfort that time, my friend. There must be something wrong with my USB connections here because I notice my keyboard and things just keep disconnecting on occasion. So my keyboard has completely disconnected. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. You have got to be kidding me. Okay, let's try something else here. That's better. Okay, as a test, seeing as how he seems to be stuck. No, that does nothing. So I guess I just keep playing Whack of Vampire until he's dead. The stakes. Maybe that's all I needed to do. Maybe I hit him with the sword for so long that... I honestly didn't need to. Also, if that... Okay, never mind. I was going to say, if that's the chain that's connected to my ant. I need the Dismodi Vampire Key to unlock that. Where's the key? Seriously, where's the key? I killed the vampire, didn't I? Where's the key? I mean, there's plenty of stakes. I don't see a magical floating key anywhere. You know what? After all that, I think I might be trapped on the rooftop. After all of that, all of that trouble. Going through all that crap trying to kill the vampire and doing all this jazz. There's no key. I cannot access the key. I cannot find the key. I can't lower the winch. I can't get off the top. I mean, I assume the vampire is dead. He looked like he was dead. Didn't he look like he was dead? And you would assume, in a game of this sort, killing the vampire would net you the key. Oh, wait. Of course, I could be mistaken. Where does this lead me? This is what I get for bitching about it and not exploring.
<laughs> You've slain the Desmodai vampire. This Modai was the right hand of the Count, and has been slain once and for all, and will never return to the realm of the living. Now you have a chance to return to the roof to re and rescue Anne Sophie, if she is still alive. I think we've just seen the vampire's O-face. It's terrifying, and it looks like part of his cheek has gone into his mouth. That's... what is that? Oh, that's... that's pretty... that's... Oh dear. Also, speaking of other vampire things, much like Castlevania logic, you gotta wonder why these vampires are keeping so many stakes around the castle. From the scripts of Grimwald Voyus, the ancient vampire Lord Malachi was fettered to a tomb within the heart of the main castle building hundreds of years ago at the end of the Crimson War. The tomb was constructed by the enemies of the Vampire Lord to keep him from returning from the dead, and it is sealed shut with a magical ward, breakable only by a soul sacrifice in the first rays of the morning sun. Seems like a poor time for vampires, but okay. Fuck? Dude. Also, should I be going this- even be going this way? Shouldn't I go- Okay, I'll tell you what. Let's do a quick save. And... There, now that I've dropped myself. All the way down here. Oh, hello, James. Glad to see you, good old chap. Let's get out of here. What is that voice? I saw a vampiric succubus capture Greg and take him higher up in the East Tower. You must find him. Have you found Dr. Emersfield and Sophie and Aunt Emily and brought them to safety yet? You must succeed or they'll be slain. Aunt Emily and I have a revolver in our trunk at the main entrance. Take me there and I'll give it to you. Hurry. This thing? I don't think I can shut this thing down. Okay, I tell you what. I'm going to leave him where he is for now. He seems like he's just standing around doing nothing anyway, so I'll come back for him. I'll go rescue Anne Emily first. Or Aunt Sophie, or whatever aunt that was that's trapped, all strung up. She seems like she's in a more precarious position. At the very least, he can run away if something tries to kill him. <laughs> Damn it! Let even get out of here, jeez. Collision detection in this game does not seem like it's the greatest. Also, that's not the way I'm supposed to go. Her. 
here, let's unlock you. Also, the vampire I staked in the coffin, he didn't really look like the same one was fighting though, did he? I didn't think he did anyway. Could be mistaken. Where are you too, Amp? What's your face? Ah! <laughs> oh, there she is. Hi, Amp. Sweet what's your face? Lord, a pleasant surprise. I'd almost given up. Have you found Dr. Amersfield and Uncle Andrew and brought them to safety yet? You must succeed or they'll be slain. I've got the key to Buster's cage in my trunk at the main entrance. Take me there and you'll be able to free Buster. And Sophie, that's who she is. And her dog, Buster. I'm assuming Buster's going to be able to help me with this. Nothing like a good old... Um... Good old evil fighting dog. But only at a pace worthy of a lady. So what you're telling me is you're going to be walking slow as hell is what I'm getting out of that. Just, you know, try not to die. Everything will be fine. I promise I won't shoot you like I did to Dr. Amosfield that one time. Only that one time. Ah yes, this is the way out. I didn't go down the tower. I went in and pretty much immediately saw the elevator and the stairs. Oh. oh! Yes? Oh, I say, oh. Oh. Okay, no, that's just a trick of the light. I thought there was something there. This is not the way out. That is definitely not the way out. Just have to escape through the garrison. Let's, let's just keep saving it. I don't want to die. I don't want her to die. So I can't help but get the feeling maybe I'm still going the wrong way. Honestly, I'm almost positive I'm going the wrong way. Okay, good, there you are. This where I found the key for the East Tower in the first place, up this way. Pretty sure. Yeah, it is. Crap. Sorry about that, Sophie. We, um, we need Vamoose elsewhere. Sacrifice with the succubus. Um, although I suppose, come to think of it, there's worse ways to go, isn't there? This is the way I need to go. Alright. I'm thankful that there's a distinct lack of enemies trying to kill me on the way back. 
I shouldn't say that too loud, because guarantee it's something that's going to try to waste me on the way back. It's an art garrison thing. Okay, we're gonna go down the stairs now. We're gonna be real careful and go down these stairs. Don't be like the doctor and, like, trip over a couple and fall face first. Dr. Amosfield strikes me as being very clumsy, an accident prone, and magnetic to bullets. Oh, okay. Okay. You didn't see that. That did not happen. vampires and having lovely religious like stained glass windows. I think that'd be the last sort of thing they want to keep. Oh, we're almost there. Just a little further. Thank you, James. You acted like a true British gentleman. What about the others? That's good, but how do I, uh... Yeah, I'm still not sure how I refill the holy water exactly. That dude's got a weird face. Also, he's not moving at all. That's creepy. Also, she's not moving. Here's a little something for that wound. So where is Buster's transport cage, anyway? There's a box, is that it? No. No, I guess not. Anyway, I've died several times. I've rescued... Okay, not most, but some of the people. Here. So I think I'm doing pretty good. I'm doing alright. So let's save the game, and I think that's quite enough of this for one night. <laughs> okay, after getting past the... Um, well, I can't really call it a steep learning curve, but after getting past the initial stages where everything can kill you very easily, you know, rescuing a few people, getting some items, um, the game doesn't seem too bad. I mean, obviously, it certainly shows its age. It's very clunky, and it's not the prettiest looking. It did work in making me incredibly tense, though. So, if nothing else, I gotta give it credit for that. So yeah, I think I'll probably carry on playing this. Maybe not for a while. I, I, like I said, I think it's going to be a while before I can get the stream again. And when I do, I think I'll finish off Batman just so I got that under my belt. I really want to know how that's going to end. But that's going to be it for now, I think. As it is getting very late. So, as always, if you stop by to watch, I thank you very, very much for doing so. Me running around, screaming and dying and g hey. And I hope, whenever I get back to this, I'll see you folks then too. So until then, I wish you a farewell and a good night.